Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Windows XP build 2531. Actually, at the time of this recording and the time this video is going up, Windows XP is going to turn 21 years old around this day. I believe it's October 25th, and this is being uploaded on October 24th. So I figured it would be a good idea to take a look at a version of Windows XP that isn't much different from the RTM version, but it's still a little bit different because it's a beta. So this build is, like I said, obviously it's a beta, and we're going to take a look at it and see how it differs from the final build of Windows XP as well as just in general what's going on in this beta. This build is time bombed like most Windows beta builds in general. So we're going to go ahead and set the date to August 1st, 2001, a few months before the release of Windows XP, and that is one day after this build was compiled. So we're going to go ahead and set that as the BIOS date and we're going to boot into the Windows XP or this beta builds installer. Now this installer is pretty much exactly like what the one found in the final version of Windows XP is like. We have that blue background, Windows setup with the gray bar at the bottom. Again, this is pretty much taken straight from Windows 2000. You're about to install an evaluation version of Windows XP. We're going to go ahead and continue, continue, agree to the terms, unpartitioned space, quick NTFS format, and now it's going to format and it's going to go through the install process. So it was pretty easy to get here. Um, it's going to go ahead and format the drive and start to copy files for Windows XP. And we're going to be back once it gets into the actual GUI setup portion. All right, and here we are. That was actually really quick, probably because we're installing this on an SSD. We're going to go ahead and go through, and we have to enter the product key, which can be found on BetaWiki. Once we've entered that key, we can go ahead and set a computer name. I'm just going to leave it as XP, whatever. And... Okay, we don't have to set an admin password. We're just going to go ahead and click through those things. And, okay, typical networking settings. We're going to just do work group. Okay, going through the rest of the Windows XP setup. I don't think it really makes a lot of sense for it to ask for that information and then continue to copy files. I feel like it should copy files and then ask for that information, like how Windows is now. Not sure why it goes like this. All right, and here we are. I guess this is the out-of-box experience. One thing that I noticed right out of the box is we're missing the wizard down here. I'm not sure if that was included in professional or not, but okay. I disabled the network adapter because if you do that, sometimes it'll sync using network time protocol, and I just don't want that. I don't want the time to sync because then it'll mess up the... If the time sinks, it'll mess up with the time bomb. So right now we can enter our name even though we already did that. I'm going to just enter that. And we're done. We are now logging in to the desktop of Windows XP build 2531. And here we are. So the first thing I'm going to assume is that VMware tools are probably not going to work. Um, although this is very similar to the final build. So I'm not sure what this is going to do. Nope. Okay, just like I thought. So I'm going to see if actually we can change the... Okay, close that. If I can make the resolution any better. Okay, so if I set it to 1080p because there's no graphics drivers, it lags incredibly bad, which we've seen that on many other versions of Windows before. So And even Linux. So I'm going to set it to 1280 by 800, which it's still lagging, but it's not as bad so we're just gonna have to put up with the bars on the side and the occasional bit of lag but here we are first thing is bliss is not present i believe bliss is still in yep there's bliss but um because this is a professional build it has that standard windows xp professional background set which i actually really like this background it's got the windows logo the windows logo as a background you have windows xp professional down here Whatever, whatever, whatever. So out of the ordinary, the only thing that's different between this build and the regular Windows XP is this down here. If I were to put this in front of a regular person, they would have no clue what they were looking at, if it was a beta build or not, because this was so close to the final release of Windows XP. So taking a look, pre-pinned, Internet Explorer, email, MSN Explorer, which I want to look at that. I haven't seen that in a while. Media Player, Movie Maker, Tor Windows XP, and Files and Settings Transfer Wizard. As for pre-installed apps, we have 
my, we have Activate Windows, Windows Catalog, which I don't know if that was in the final version or not. I'm really not sure. Windows Update Accessories, which looks pretty much finalized. I mean, this looks like all the stuff that you would see in Windows XP. Games, again, all the regular stuff you'd see, except internet apps no longer work, unfortunately. Startup, nothing, and Explorer, MSN Explorer, Outlook, Remote Assistance. Um, Windows Media Player and Windows Messenger, which add a .NET passport to your Windows XP user account. So is that like the early version of a Microsoft account? I don't know. Because this is already after the Windows Whistler betas. All of those have already been released. The, the name is already decided. We're already there, basically. So Windows XP Professional 5.1 XP Client. That's something I noticed a lot. But Okay. So this basically is the final version of Windows XP with a few extra tweaks in it, obviously. Let's just take a look around because it's been a while since I've played around with Windows XP. This was one of my favorite apps at the time just because of the music. Um, unfortunately, no VMware tools, no sound. Um, but this was one of my favorite apps because of the music that was incorporated in it. My computer, we can see how far the file explorer has came. Now we have tabs in Windows 11. Which, by the way, I don't think I got those enabled on my personal computer. Yeah, no, I don't have tabs on my personal computer's Windows 11 File Explorer, but they're on my laptop. Besides the point. We can see the old... Oh, I like this. These files are hidden. You should not modify its contents. Okay. I, I kind of wish Windows still had that, because someone could just go in and start deleting stuff. Although I would hope that people know not to delete System32 by now. Uh, Taskman. Not sure if that's the actual task manager process or not. Uh, default, is this like a shortcut to something? This is a shortcut to an MS-DOS program. Oh boy, MS-DOS. Invalid program name. Okay, cool. Okay, so, yeah, it's like I said, it's been a while since I've taken a look at Windows XP, and I just wanted to kind of go back and look at some old things, including MSN Explorer this okay we're just gonna we're gonna live here for now uh we're gonna live there for now i guess okay going through i know it's not gonna get out to the internet yep internet sign up uh you're ready to go finish and now it wants to connect to the internet which you know what i say because we've taken a look at most of the interesting stuff already let's give it a network adapter let's see what happens so the network adapter is hooked up. Can we get out on the internet using Internet Explorer? Because I know the MSN pro the MSN servers are probably down. I would guarantee it. Okay, so the internet is in fact working. We can go to google.com and can we actually search stuff though? Like I I'm so out of the loop with using older operating systems now. Okay, here we are. So we are browsing the internet. It just looks a little weird probably because some of the newer attributes of this website cannot properly work. But okay, pretty cool. MSN looks like it's still trying to sign up, which is probably because the MSN servers just don't exist anymore, which doesn't surprise me. One thing I do want to try though is I want to see what... Oh, it did something. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. What if I did guest sign in? Oh, that's not going to work. Anyways, besides the point, what happens if we try to play internet checkers? Because I know that they shut down, but I I actually played this not too long ago. Like, right before it shut down, I was able to get on and play it. Uh, connecting to the internet game server, it's not going to work. That is, that's really unfortunate. Task manager, the classic old task manager that we've seen long time which i really like the 22h2 task manager in windows 11 it looks so so nice and we also have a shutdown button in the task manager which i didn't realize ever existed but yeah this was windows xp build 2531 um, if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as i do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations typically my videos get a little more entertaining than this however because the Windows XP's 21st anniversary is coming up. I wanted to do something special, go back, reminisce a little bit, and look at an older build of XP. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.